family, how you guys doing? It is August the 5th and it is 9.28 in the p.m. And uh, I'm just getting ready to season up my chicken so that I can fry it tomorrow. Because tomorrow we're gonna have some, um, I'm gonna fry some chicken, I'm gonna fry some cabbage and make some mashed potatoes for dinner tomorrow. But uh, I like to season up my chicken, you guys know, the night before to really allow the seasoning to, you know, really uh, soak into the meat of that uh, chicken, to the bone, rather. But I came on right quick because I wanted to talk to you guys about something. Um, you guys know by now that I went to um, R&B Live yesterday. Y'all, I had a, oh my God, we had so much fun yesterday. It was um, truly unbelievable. I mean, we had a ball. I'm taking, babe. We had a good time yesterday. And um, so, um, but I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about that a little bit because I truly feel a particular kind of way today. Um, family, how about I saw, um, I saw one of the, girls that I went to school with, okay? We went to, I want to say from, say, the seventh through the ninth grade together. And um, I saw her yesterday. And in fact, she kind of sat right in front of us. Um, we were running late, of course. Me and Kim, we're always late. We're always running late when it's time to get up, get out, and get going. We're always the ones that are running late. So my auntie and them, they always go ahead of us and go and get the spot where we're going to sit at. And then, um, you know, I'm always the one that brings that extra ice and whatever else everybody forgot from the store. I am um, usually the one that go and pick up all the extra stuff. Well, Anyway, when I got there, my auntie and them had us a really, really good uh, spot. Real cool spot. And um, to my surprise, right in front of where we were sitting at was um, this girl that I went to school with. Well, anyway, you know, I never forget her face, especially when, you know, we've met and, you know, we chalked it up or whatever happened by us going to school together. You know, when you're kids, you just never forget those years of school and what transpired in high school and middle school and or junior high, as some people would call it or whatever. Well, anyway, back in high school and, and middle school, I was always a fat kid, always. I was always one of the biggest. I was always the one that was low key picked last. I was always the one that the dudes wasn't really, they wasn't really checking for me in school, you know? But like I said before, you know, um, big wasn't the shit, it wasn't in. You know, once that super, super uh, size shit and extra value meal shit cracked off, motherfuckers wasn't really, you know, gaining no weight up until that point, well, but if you already was predisposed to being heavy, shit, you were just gonna be heavy. Well, anyway, needless to say, after I'm saying all that, let me go to say this. Anyway, so I runs into her, and I knew her dead on. As soon as, as soon as I looked down right in front of us, boom, she was sitting right there. So I knew who she was straight from the start. So, anyway, I looked, and I didn't say anything. I just looked, and I was like, huh, I know her. Right off the top, I called her name out, like, instantaneously. Instantly. I was like, oh, that's such and such, you know. I'm not going to put her name out there or whatever. But I knew right off the top that it was the girl from school. And in school, you know, um, like I said, I was always a big kid a rather fat kid, so, you know, the girls that were skinny, they wasn't really, you know, but I, they knew I whooped their ass, though, because one thing about me, I was a fighter in school. And so, you know, that was my defense mechanism to deal with, you know, the, the 
abuse and all the other things that I was going through at that time, food was my source of comfort and fighting. I would fight people that I knew that I could whoop their ass, you know, that type of stuff, as opposed to fighting my predator, and to in which I did that as well, but you know, you can't fight a dude, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a shit how strong women get, we still can't physically beat up a man, we just can't do it. So, anyway, needless to say, saying all that, you know, she would always... Oh, fat ass Tina and all that kind of stuff. And she called herself like a Ralph Trails band. He don't want no fat ass girl like you and woo woo woo. I mean, all that shit. I was getting all that shit from her. So, you know, of course it made me feel a particular kind of way. And she was very small, petite, really, really nice hair. And at that time, you know, motherfuckers was on some good hair shit, right? So... You know, of course, she was one of the ones that she was con you would consider to have good hair. Um, her mama was like a gypsy. You know, her mama was like Palestinian or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't know. We called it gypsy. You know, that's what we used to say when we was in school. But, you know, at the time, you know, I didn't, I didn't really know to get down really. But her mom was like that. So, you know, she was like... You know, mix with, I don't know exactly what all she mixed with, but she, you know, her mom was one of them, but, we, you know, we used to call her, you know, say gypsy or whatever. So, and her dad was all black, so, you know, of course, with, with that blend right there, you know, of course, you're going to, you know, have some really, really nice hair. So, anyway, um, new addition is, is what was hot at the time. And, you know, we all used to, you know, be on some candy girl shit and, you know, and Ralph Trezvant and all that other shit. Well, you know, she would always make me feel something by, you know, Ralph don't want no fat ass girl and look how fat you are and how you get so fat and all that kind of stuff, y'all. Well, <coughs> excuse me. Last night, well, yesterday rather, when I saw her and I looked. Okay, now mind you, she was pregnant, okay, but didn't you have a child in high school, like when we was in, you know, high school or whatever, you had a child before the 12th grade, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you know, yeah, she was one of the real pretty ones at school and shit, but you know, you know, all the dudes wanted to get at her and shit, so she got pregnant rather early, you know, in, in life or whatever, and so, but still, you know, by her being one of the cute girls, you know, they low-key get a pass for what the fuck they do. The rest of us or whatever, we had to work hard for our little shit. But the little cute ones, you know, they had some passes that we didn't qualify for. So, when I saw that ass last night, now mind you, you know auntie is like 40 years old. I'll be 41 September 10th. So, nigga, if I'm 40, your ass is 40. 41 years old as well, because if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe she's a little bit older than me. I think she's, um, I think she's, if she's not 40, she's 41. Um, because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, she's a little bit older than me. But my question is, what the fuck is you doing pregnant right now? I mean, for real? I mean, seriously, because... If we graduated 10 years ago, that means you got a son that's 20 years old, at least. And, you know, it ain't none of my business or whatever. And I ain't trying to, you know, be no particular kind of motherfucking way. But however, though, when you made me feel a certain kind of way in school and talked about me and talked about my weight issues and shit, but yet I'm seeing your ass, your 40-something motherfucking years old, and you sitting up here pregnant, chick? I mean, for real? I mean, and, and what makes it so bad, though, I mean, if you're going to be pregnant, okay, that's one thing, but where's the dude at, though? I mean, because all the while, all while we was in school, you know, you had all these little niggas, you know what I'm saying, and all these ready-for-the-world-ass niggas all up on your little tip, you know, and made me feel a particular kind of way because I was a little bit bigger than, well, I was much bigger than her because, you know, she was really, really petite and little. Back then, she had to be about maybe, because now... She's gotten a little bit more height, so I'm 5'5", five, five, so she's probably about 5'3", five, 5'2", three, five, 5'3". Five, three. I'm still just a little bit taller than her, but uh, Chick, you was every bit of 200 and something. I mean, I understand you pregnant, 
but you was like every bit of 220, 225, something like that. But, you know, I'm the motherfucker that you talked about in school. It made me feel, you know, a certain kind of way because I was fat and all that shit. Don't nobody want you and, you know, who going to take that bitch to the prom? I ended up not going to the prom. You know, I didn't go to my prom family. I didn't go. You know, and, and but, uh, but still, here your ass want to treat me all this and that, and you still out here 40 fucking years old and having kids? I mean, shit, where they doing that shit at? Now, bitch, you ain't no motherfucking Demi Moore. Now, Demi Moore and them, yeah, they can go ahead on and have kids 35, 40 motherfucking years old. But at a certain age, when your income can't, can't really handle all that, you need to sit your motherfucking ass down, get a Nor plant motherfucking IUD, uh, Orthonovum 777 Paragard, bitch, Morena. Uh, all that shit is on the market to get that, to handle that. You know, at, that, at, a, at a certain age, in my opinion, no. Now, unless you got a husband and all that, I don't see no rings, but um, unless you got a husband and all that shit, bitch, uh, no, that is a negative, a serious negative. Hi. My baby is down here at my feet, y'all. I be damn near about to step on her every day. I mean, she, she follows me all around. It's my baby, though. But shit. Yeah, so I just had to speak on that, you know, because, and then... What's so cold about it? You know, I saw a nigga that I also went to high school with. You know, I saw him down there, him and his partners and all that shit. Them niggas all, you know, he didn't even know who the fuck I was, but nigga, I knew who you was on first sight. As soon as I saw you and you was like, uh, excuse me, miss, right off the motherfucking top, I was like, boo, nigga, what? I'm cool. Because I remember all y'all motherfuckers used to be in the quad and used to talk about me and talk about how fat I was and all that old type of shit, and brace face and all that shit, because I had braces and all that. Okay, but now that I'm in my 40s, y'all motherfuckers is checking for me on my Facebook. That ain't how the game goes. That's not how the game works. I'm not one of them. Fuck that. You're not going to treat me no type of way. And then now that you see that the bitch done evolved and then grew into all of that shit, and now you want to check for me? No, nigga, get gone. I'm cool. I'm cool. And just like I told old boy last night, I said, you know what? You don't even remember me, huh? You don't remember me. And so he was like, nah, I ain't never seen you before in your life. I said, no, yes, but you have, though. But you really have. Because we went to school together. Uh, you was uh, hanging out with the basketball players and all that other shit. Y'all had y'all big-ass Adidas goddamn tennis shoes on with the big-ass shoestrings and all that other shit. Yeah, nigga, big-ass gazelles and all that. Y'all was that nigga, three care, three finger motherfucking rings and Turkish ropes. Yeah, nigga, I remember you back then. I don't want nothing to do with your ass either. Let me just say that shit. So yeah, y'all, yesterday, I'm telling you. I mean, it was, it, and, and, and it was cool too to also, you know, because, you know, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, um, you know, I don't do, you know, the hip hop you know, hip hop with explosion and all that. I don't do I don't do those type of shows because I don't wanna be in a compromised position where I might just have to run at the end of the night. So we do a lot of jazz festivals and things of that nature because the crowd is a little bit different. Now last night it was a mixture, okay? Now I think what saved us was the fact that Angela Winbush and Howard Hewitt and all that so you know, Pistol Starter and Lil Boosie and all them, they ain't going to see them. So, but still we had Joe and John B and Case and all that other shit. So, you know, of course, you know, it's going to bring in, you know, a mixed crowd. Family, it was like I was straight out of Compton. I had a ball, though. I have to say that I had a good-ass time down there. I, oh, my God. Family, we had a ball. We had a ball. I mean, from sun up to sundown, we was getting it in. I mean, like, seriously getting it in. And it was like, it was, in my camp, it was about six of us. Six of, no, between six and, yeah, about seven or eight, something like that of us. Okay, and so um, my auntie and cousins and all that stuff, and one of my girls and all that, and, you know, so... 
You know, we was like, look, guess what? Look, check this out. Um, we're going to go have us a good ass time, and which we did. We had a ball. I'm really, really looking forward to the next uh, get down. Um, this coming up week is going to be uh, the Long Beach Jazz Festival. Now, uh, that's going to be this coming up Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, on Friday, it's going to be Ronald Ivey and the Ivey Brothers. You know, the ones that's living, of course. You know, and I guess he's going to probably throw some, you know, extra niggas up in there, some background motherfuckers up in there, you know, make it seem like it's a whole bunch of them motherfuckers. I don't, I don't know how he's going to do it, but that's um, coming up this coming up weekend. And then, um, uh, what do you call it? The OJs, Pat and LaBelle, and some other folks is going to be at, they're going to be at, um, what do you call it? They're going to be at, um, in University City. Um, so, family is just going down. And, I mean, it's summertime. I live for the summer. I live for the fun and all that kind of stuff. They have a good time. My auntie and my cousins and all of us. And we get together and we just have a ball. We do. We get together and we have a good ass time. So, anyway. So, I just really wanted to come in right that, right quick and speak on that and just uh, give reference to or give a shout out to the sisters that was uh, uh, ridiculed and talked about in school. And the young ladies that do watch my channel, just know that Auntie has been there, babies. I done been there. I've been talked about, bagged on, all that kind of shit. Niggas wasn't trying to check for me. And it's just a trip on how, you know, you grow up and you grow out. You know what I'm saying? You fill in. And to see now that these niggas is completely forgot who I was. It's like they don't even know who I was. I, I get messages on my Facebook from guys that it's like, nigga, I don't even remember your ass. Water polo, motherfucker. I, I, I don't know the water polo team and all that. I mean, all races, okay? Hit me up. Now, if they ran across my Facebook or ran across my YouTube or, you know, went on classmates.com and saw a couple of my pictures on there, and it's like now they really trying to check for me like on some you know, can you get us some tickets to get in type of shit? Nigga, if y'all don't knock it off, I mean, if y'all don't knock it the fuck off, I'm cool. I'm cool. Y'all wasn't cool with me then, then see you later, bye now. I'm cool. Straight up. And just like I tell my daughter, you know, too, because my daughter has a weight problem, you know, and, but my daughter is the cutest thing ever. I mean, beautiful, beautiful features, you know. Very, very beautiful features. And you know, um, you know, kids want to treat her a particular kind of way because she's heavy. But like I tell my baby all the time, oh, but you're gonna grow up. You're going to grow up and you're gonna grow out. And all of them motherfuckers that don't want to pick you and they're picking you last and all that and poking fun and all that shit and talking about, oh, okay, the little boy groups and shit ain't checking for you. Don't you worry about, oh, don't you worry. Just keep living. Because it turns around. It truly does. It turns around. And when it turns around, all of them motherfuckers that was trying to treat and, and treat you all this and that, those be the main ones be like, well, why are you still tripping? That was back in high school. And that was grade school and all that shit. But that shit still hurts. And you still remember that shit like it was yesterday. I know I ain't the only one, goddammit. Because I know some of y'all right now watching this shit saying, you know what, girl? I am so with you on that shit. So, yeah. Huh. Just know that shit. So, anyway, family. Let me um, go on and get up off of this one. And, uh. finish um, seasoning and cutting up my meat and stuff. I know some of you guys, when y'all watch me working with a knife, y'all be like, ah, you gonna cut yourself. No, family. Thank you for being concerned, though, but 
I'm just a left-handed chick. And to everybody, I guess I look awkward, you know, because of the way in which I hold my knife, even the way in which I hold my pencil. People that aren't left-handed, they be looking like, damn, that shit look awkward. But to us, it isn't awkward at all. That's just the way we get out. So, just know I'm in control of this right here. I got this. Though I appreciate your concern and all, but I got it, baby. So I got it. <laughs>